اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into Consensus. It's an AI app that can be used for multiple purposes when conducting research. Now, what Consensus does is, it helps you ask research questions and then it can synthesize the information based on several research papers. And further, you can use Copilot to get more detailed answers and generate content. Now, I've got a few examples here which I'm going to put in and use consensus for not only for literature review, but to get some critical answers that I need during my research. Let's say if I, I'm interested in conducting a research on servant leadership and project success. Now, my first question could be, how can servant leadership impact a project success? So if I put in this question and search the results, so I've got both these options as selected. I've, I'm trying to synthesize the information and I've got my co-pilot as well. Now here is the summary of 10 papers analyzed. And it says that servant leadership positively impacts a project success. So we have a direction established in the literature as to how servant leadership impacts a project a success. Now here are the key insights as to how servant leadership can impact project success and here are the references that you can use to build your arguments when you are writing literature review. Because in the literature review, we've got two most important things. We need to explain how one variable influences the other and we need to explain why one variable influences the other. And then we've got these papers here. Now what you can do here is, for instance, you can export these results. Let me do the comma separated version. And let's see what we've, we've got here. Now here are the results, the abstract, the study type, the journal where it was published, and you've got the consensus link as well and that you can open and here are the authors of the paper now furthermore what we can do is we can filter these results as well so if we click filter let's say i only am interested in latest research so you can select let's say 2024 you can only select open access you can ask whether the paper is available or not you can have the minimum number of citations and you can have different types of papers. Let's say I'm interested only in the systematic review. So you can select that. Then the minimum sample size, the journals, Q1, Q2, Q3. So if I'm on, interested in only high quality journals, so I will select Q1 or you can select Q2 as well, Q3, or just two of them as well. Now further, I'm interested only in business studies. I do not have any specific choice with respect to country, so I'll search or filter it. Now, no results in 2024. So if we go back to filter and let's say if we do it since 2020 and then filter now i've got results from 2020 till now. now moving on you can have these papers as well now uh, full text is available for this paper ask to summarize the findings explore the methods let's say we ask this paper now let's say any theory used in the paper. Let's see if we've got any theory. Now they have used the conservation of resources theory. So this can be useful as well. So I can go in and have a look how have they used the conservation of resources theory to develop these relationships. Let's go back and 
Further, you can have this study snapshot if you want. You can cite it, save it, share it. Now you've got these details that you can use in your systematic literature reviews. All this. And you can have more results. Moving on. Now again, you can ask this question as well. Instead of how, I'm putting in why. Now let's say I'm trying to find some new variables that I can assess with servant leadership. So I've got this question here. Let's see if we get anything with regards to some new outcomes. Enter. And let me filter it from 2022 now. Apply. So based on the provided data, here are some potential outcomes that have not been assessed with servant leadership. So these variables have not been assessed. So now consensus is providing you with future research directions that you can use and build your models. Now, if you are interested in some new styles of leadership, you're trying to search for some new styles, how we can do it. So participative leadership, sustainable leadership, resource dilemma, handling leadership. Well, that's seriously a new one. Now they've, there are some other leadership styles as well. And then you can look at these papers and see if there is a new leadership style that has not been assessed in research or there is very limited research with respect to that. Now, furthermore, interesting part here is you're getting these liter literature reviews that are giving you or providing you with future research directions. Now, these are very important when you are conducting new and original research. And you can and the, copy the summary and the link, copy summary, copy page link. You can share it on X as well. Now, moving on, let's say I'm interested in finding the questionnaires on a particular variable. So I'll ask consensus. How can we measure servant leadership or how can we measure life satisfaction or for that matter, any other construct. So it will provide you with some listed latest information. Now, in this case, I would rather remove this filter. Now, when you are measuring a particular concept, try to have journals that are high quality journals so that you know that they have used proper methods to create, design and develop a construct so that it can be properly measured. Shortened measure. So where is this shortened measure? There is another one. There is another one. There are quite few here. Shared servant leadership. Let's say if I further try to change it, how can we measure or instead of what question is are available to measure servant leadership. Let's see. Yes. So try to change your question slightly as well sometimes. And this can help as well. Now here you can use this one as well. Further look into these papers, open these papers, read their methodology and see what questionnaires have they used or proposed. Now, again, we've got these questionnaires here as well. So you need to open them and look at these papers. Let's say I'm doing my research analysis and I'm interested in finding out some thresholds. So what is the minimum threshold for HTMT when assessing discriminant validity? Enter. So is there a standard threshold? Well, if you you can change the question here. Let's say, let's look at this. Okay, let's change the filters. Now the suggestion is 0.85, which is definitely correct. And here are some details. 
and here are the papers that you can use and cite when writing your data analysis and results. So this is how you can use consensus to ask questions, find research gaps, find arguments for your research. If you are writing your introduction, you can say, let's say we normally start, start our introduction with the importance of value of the topic. Why is it important to study servant leadership in business research? So here you will find arguments that you can later use in research to identify the need of your topic. Now, the, the good thing here is that you're not just getting the summaries from Copilot, you're getting the references for these papers as well, which you can open and read. And I always, always encourage students, do not just rely on the AI tools to give you that information because that information will be incomplete for you. You need to read more and more. And this is where I like a consensus because it is providing you with the references that you can go in, read those papers and get the adequate relevant information. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to use consensus for your research. Thank you very much.